Do you know what the purpose of earwax is? The real reason why it grows in our ears? I mean, other than to have people like me make videos to entertain you. The real reason behind earwax is to help to catch all the dirt, debris, and other junk that's in the air that gets down into the ear canal. Airwax is also a natural insecticide. It can kill those little bugs or gnats that get in the ear. Yeah, I know, a lot of people are actually really afraid of having bugs in their ears, which, I mean, you should be. It's not a great thing to have happen. But at least if it does, that earwax will help to kill the bugs and help to get them out of your ears. I'm Dr. Gary, one of the clinical audiologists and part of the ownership team here with Advanced Hearing Group in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is Earwax Removal Vlog number 71. In this episode, you're gonna watch me use the curette to remove this earwax. Now, this patient had a severe impaction. Unlike in my last video, vlog number 70, I'm actually going to finish the job. We end up using a little bit of irrigation at the end to remove that last little bit of earwax. Right now, we're using the curette. You can see that the wax closer to the opening of the ear, or the aperture, is actually a lighter color. That lighter colored wax is much softer. The darker wax has been in there longer and is more hard. We're gonna switch to a larger, excuse me, a more angled curette in a minute because what we're having trouble doing is getting it off the ear canal wall given the shape of their ear canal. So we're gonna first use the curette to try to pick this wax up and at least give us a little view of the eardrum. Now you can see as we lift it up, we get a little peek at the eardrum right there, right below the curette. So now we're gonna switch to a more angled version in order to use that angle to help to pull the earwax out. Here we go. You'll see here, it's just gonna be a little bit more angled. There it is. And then you can see how we're coming in and we're trying to use that angle to get into the opening that the earwax has and get a little bit behind it and into it and use it to pull everything out. You can see it just release and kind of all move at once. That's the goal is that we're gonna get this all to come out, keeping it in as large of a chunk as possible. Now, these movements are actually very, very small. Your ear canal is really tiny. This is massively magnified. We're being very gentle and very soft, deliberate movements to lessen the amount of discomfort that a patient has. Now, this patient wasn't experiencing any discomfort, at least none that they reported, but it can be very uncomfortable if you stick something too deep in your ear. So please, don't try this at home. If you like these wax removal videos, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. I've also been messing around with this format quite a bit. Let me know what you think of it. There was a great view of the eardrum and you could see that last little bit that's back there. So we're gonna use the curette just to clean up the ear canal floor here and then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of irrigation just to get that last chunks of wax away from the end. All right, you can see them down there again. So now we're gonna to go to the irrigation once we get this off the ear canal floor. Again, still using that angled curette because it's just making it more easy given the patient's ear canal shape. Unfortunately, my camera light died when I was doing the irrigation, so we don't have a great view of the eardrum, but we did get everything out. We reviewed the video and it looked great. Thank you for watching. This has been You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. I'll see you in the next video.